Hello everyone, welcome back to more Elden Ring video. In this video, I'm going to show you my level 150 Zamor Curse Sword build that focuses on the use of Zamor as strong skill. Zamor Curse Sword is a curse great sword that scales primary with strength and dexterity. The weapon itself requires 16 strength, 18 dexterity, and also 9 in weight. This weapon has weapon skill called Zamor as strong skill. With this skill, you can analyzing a phrasing strong that patterns the surrounding. This skill can inject frostbite build up, also create amount of stance damage to stagger the enemy around it. Although the weapon rank is short, you will be surprised how fast it can inject frostbite build up, also stagger the enemy when performing Zamor as strong skill. Before we start, if you want to see more Elden Ring build like this one, make sure to visit my website to see in the detail for each build. Link in the description below. So let's get started. Zamor Core Sword, dropped by the ancient hero of Zamor boss, located at the giant conquering hero graves. For buff and protection, I like to use Golden Vow and Black Flame protection. With Golden Vow, you can increase damage up to 15% and all damage negation up to 10% for 80 seconds. Another run is Black Flame Protection to increase your physical damage negation by 35%. And for seal, you can use the most basic one like Finger Seal can be purchased from Twin Maiden Hush at the round table hold for 800 runes. There are some talisman that I can use to increase my poise, attack power, and physical defense. With Bull Gold Talisman, that can increase your poise by 33%. Next, with Shard of Alexander, you can greatly boost the attack power of Zamor Ice Storm skill by 15%. Another one with Dragon Crest Great Seal, that can reduce physical damage taken by 20%. Last but not least, with R3 Power Plus 2, you can increase your health by 4%, stamina by 10%, and equip load by 8%. You can also use two crystal tears combination to temporarily boost your status. With opalid heart tier, that can temporarily boost all damage negation in basic by 15% for 3 minutes. Another one is with green plus crystal tier, that can increase stamina recovery speed by 15 per second for 3 minutes. For armor, I'll to wear veteran armor set to give me good protection for my character and increase my poise. For level 150 build, you can fill up the basic requirement for Zamor Core Sword Weapon and Black Flame Protection Incantation. Also, I put most attribute to Dexterity to increase my attack power. So in this build, I put 40 in Vigor, 25 in Mind, 26 in Endurance, 16 in Strength, 72 or more in Dexterity to increase my attack power, and there is no change in Intelligence. 30 in Faith for Black Flame Protection requirement, and there is no change in Arcane. The way this build works is first you can consume Crystal Tears, cast Golden Vow, and Black Flame Protection Incantation to buff your character. After that, you can perform Zamor Ice Storm skill to inject Frostbite build up to the enemy and stagger them.
my brother. I'm sorry. I finally met my match. For more Elden Ring video, don't forget to like this video and hit subscribe button. An age of fracture.